The, it's a little more ergonomic with the horizontal wheel. Uh, there's an extra gesture button next to the front and back button, which is awesome because mm -hmm. if you press it and swipe left or right, you can go between spaces yeah. on your um, your Mac, or if you press it in, it does the, what's mission, the one? Control. mission control. Yeah, uh, And then, yeah, so where your thumb rests, there's this like pad that has a, a haptic feedback button that's crazy customizable where you can do like how sensitive it is and how much the feedback is when you press it. And it brings up this action ring, kind of like the Grand Theft Auto weapon select where when you press Basically, it, Basically, actually, yeah. It like has a <laughs> dial and like based on if you pull up left, right, you can go to each of those um, different actions. Actions, yeah. And they're all pre, they're all programmable. So customizable, you can set up like six or seven of them to be whatever you want. Yeah, I think Eric set one up to open like chat GPT or something. Mm -hmm. I have mine, I just do it. It opens up the like where we do new outlines for the podcast. So just if I'm going to write a new episode, I can just press that button, drag down and click it. Uh, and yeah. it's also in some of their programs, mostly Adobe ones now, but you can do like Photoshop tools on the <clears throat> action cool. ring and stuff. Yeah, Some of it doesn't work great. Some of it works really well. Some of it, one issue I have is like in Photoshop, if you want to just change opacity, what's cool is you can open the action ring, hover it and then scroll to go up and down, mm -hmm. uh, just like within the little action wheel. Yeah. But in the history, almost like when you scroll up a couple, like 20%, it does like 20 actions in the history, which just fills up your oh. history totally. That's a big issue I have with it right now in that, but uh, mm. the customizable stuff will happen. We'll see if how open they make it to other programs and stuff.